Good morning. Uh, thank you, and uh, my apologies for um, the late start. Um, but uh, I'd like to welcome you to the meeting of the Subcommittee on Zoning and Franchising. I am Francisco Moya. I am the chair of the subcommittee. And today uh, we are joined by council members Casa Constantinides, uh, Rory Lansman, uh, Barry Gredenchek. Did I miss anyone else? And today we will be holding a hearing on uh, one item, LU 28 and 29, and 35-10, uh, a uh, story boulevard rezoning. We also have LU 15 and 16, uh, the Sea Park North rezoning on our calendar. Uh, we closed the public hearing on that application at our last meeting, and we will be laying it over for uh, consideration at our next meeting on March 6th. Uh, the 35-10 Astoria Boulevard application consists of a zoning map amendment to establish a C4-3 district in place of existing uh, R6B zoning and a zoning text amendment to establish the mandatory inclusionary housing program over the rezoning area. The zoning area covers property located on the Astoria Boulevard South between 35th Street and 36th Street in Council Member Constantinides' district in Queens. Uh, the rezoning would facilitate the development of a seven-story mixed-use building with commercial and residential use. The building would include 35 dwelling units with approximately 11 being affordable through the MIH program. Um, and we will now open the public hearing on LU 28 and 29. Uh, and if the speakers would introduce themselves and identify themselves. Uh, good morning, uh, Council Member Moya, Council Member Castanides, and uh, Council Members of the Subcommittee. My name is Josh Reinsmith of Ackerman LLP, Land Use Council for the Applicant. I'm also joined here this morning by uh, Robert Bianchini, who is the Project Architect, who's available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, thank you for uh, taking the time um, to, to have this hearing this morning um, about this project that, that we're excited about. Um, the project uh, site is located on the south side of Astoria Boulevard South um, between 35th Street and 36th Street in Astoria. Um, it is located approximately uh, four blocks uh, to the east of the um, 31st Street um, and uh, Astoria Boulevard um, subway station. Um, it is located uh, exactly one block uh, to the east of an existing C4-3 zoning district. And there are commercial uses both on our block front, I'm sorry, uh, as well as uh, the block fronts to the, the east. Um, and the ex existing uh, site is built with a two-story non-conforming um, building with commercial uses. Currently, um, uh, is occupied by Kalina's School of Dance, which is a neighborhood institution, um, as well as a, a small martial arts studio. Um, as I mentioned, there are commercial uses on the blocks to both east and west, um, which are currently, uh, and the site is located in R6B, which does not allow commercial use at all. Um, as I mentioned, it is uh, on Astoria Boulevard South, which is a wide street, but it also fronts on the Grand Central Parkway. Um, and so there is ample light and air, um, and um, the site can support additional density. In addition, um, immediately adjacent to the development site is a six-story non-complying um, residential building with um, ground floor community facility use. Um, as Council Member Moya had mentioned, the application that we're considering today involves a zoning map amendment to extend the C43 zoning district um, to cover the block front uh, of Astoria Boulevard South between 35th Street and 36th Street and to map uh, an MIH designated area under MIH option two. Um, the proposed project would include a new seven story building um, with ground floor commercial use um, on grade uh, and subsurface uh, parking, as well as uh, 
uh, 35 residential uh, units on floors uh, two through seven. Um, the building will have approximately uh, 31,500 square feet of zoning floor area and be 75 feet in height. Um, I b as I believe uh, the uh, rendering on the first page uh, indicates or shows, um, the project architect has done a nice job of maintaining the street context with uh, the existing six-story building on Astoria Boulevard South. Um, under MI op a MIH option two, uh, 11 units will be permanently affordable um, at an average of 80% AMI. Uh, we're currently um, envisioning a breakdown of three units at 60% AMI, um, three units at 80% AMI, and three units at 100% AMI. Uh, the breakdown will include uh, two two-bedroom affordable units and, and nine um, one-bedroom. Um, the overall unit count is 35 units, 29 of which are uh, one bedrooms and uh, six of which are, are two bedrooms. Um, and there will be 13 accessory parking spaces um, behind the commercial use on the ground floor and in the project cellar. Um, here's just a, a copy of the proposed site plan um, and, and one uh, thing that I want to make sure uh, is understood is that the, the applicant is committed to returning um, Kalina School of Dance to the space, uh, to the commercial space once the building is completed. Um, it, it is a, a neighborhood institution um, and uh, the, the applicant is going to work with them to relocate to space, um, temporary space in another one of its buildings in the neighborhood and then um, return them to the brand new commercial space in the building. Um, and uh, that's essentially the, the essence of the application. Um, here is a copy of the, or the rendering. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. All right, so. <laughs> Are there any members of the, no? Sure. All right, so I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Council Member Constantine. No, no, no. All right, so I'm going to be very brief to make sure we can keep quorum. So uh, as a Kalina's dance school, as you said, it's a neighborhood institution. Where are you relocating uh, the dance school temporarily? Um, the applicant owns another building in Astoria. I don't have the specific address, but I can provide that to you in writing after. And we already have a letter of commitment. That is correct. To make sure that Kalina's goes back. That right? is correct. Because um, I think generations of historians have learned to dance there, and it's something that we want to make sure we can continue. Absolutely. And on the affordability piece, so, can you put, so three at 63, at 80, three at, at 100. 100. Correct. And then the other two, two bedrooms are at what AMI? So the two bedrooms would be one at 60% AMI and one at 100% AMI. So the breakdown would be three at 60%, two one bedrooms, one two bedroom at 60, then three one bedrooms at 80, and two one bedrooms and one two bedroom at 100%. So it breaks out to about 31.5% affordability. Correct. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for uh, your time and consideration in this matter. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, um, Council Member. Are there any members of the public who wish to testify in this item? Seeing none, I will now close the public hearing on this item. I will now move on to a vote on LU 2829, uh, the 35-10 Astoria Boulevard rezoning application. At the recommendation of Council Member Constantinides, we will be voting to modify the application to remove the MIH option one in order to maximize the number of affordable units in the development. Uh, I believe Council Member Constantinides the vote. A statement? No, no. No statement? Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Council Member. Um, are there any questions, remarks, or anything from other members of the subcommittee? Seeing none, I will now call a vote to modify LU 28 and 29 to remove the MIH option one from the application. Uh, Council, please call the roll. Chair Moya. Aye. Council Member Constantinides. Aye. Councilmember Richards. I was having flashbacks with David Greenfield here. I was like, wait a minute, he's <laughs> over my shoulder. 
but we're reliving the past. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, congratulations, Costa. Uh, I vote aye. And I council member Moya, thank you. Council member Rivera. Aye. And council member Redenchik. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions. Um, LU 28 and 29 are approved with modifications and referred to the full land use committee. Okay. So we're going to leave the uh, rolls open for um, 15 minutes. Uh, but thank you all for attending. And uh, this meeting is not adjourned. Not adjourned. <laughs> not adjourned. <laughs> not adjourned. <laughs> not adjourned. <laughs> all right. And we'll leave it open. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>